Welcome back to Medinair. In this video, let's discuss about collimation. When X-ray beam is directed at a point, about 90% of the X-ray photons are absorbed by the tissues and only 10% of the photons pass through as the information carrying beam and are available to form an image on the film. Many of the X-ray photons generate scattered photons within the tissue that travel in all the directions. These scattered photons that travel in the same direction as that of the original beam can carry some of the useful information to the film. But majority of the scattered photons travel in other direction which also add to the fog of the film which causes the film fog and degrade the image by uniformly exposing the film. So in order to prevent that, we need something called a collimator. So what does collimators actually do? Collimation is the method by which the size and shape of the X-ray beam can be controlled. So collimators are radiopaque barriers containing an aperture in order to control the size and shape of the X-ray beam. Collimators decrease the scattered radiation. Collimators reduce the size of the X-ray beam. Therefore, the volume of the irradiated tissue in the patient reduces. Also, it reduces the patient exposure due to its small X-ray field. It has better contrast and increases film quality. The types of collimators are diaphragm, tubular, rectangular and slit type. The diaphragm type of collimator consists of a thick plate of radiopaque material with a circular aperture in it. The size and shape of the aperture or the hole determine the size and shape of the X-ray beam. But the main disadvantage here is that it produces fairly large penumbra at the periphery of the X-ray beam. The width of the penumbra can be reduced by keeping the aperture diaphragm as far away from the X-ray target as possible. Also remember the X-ray beam size should not be more than 7 cm in diameter when it reaches the patient's skin. The next type of the collimator is tubular. It is a tube lined with or constructed with a radiopaque material, usually lead. Tubular collimator can be used along with diaphragm collimator in order to reduce the penumbra. The next type of collimator is rectangular collimator. It limits the size of the X-ray beam just larger than the size of the X-ray film. It is the most recommended type of collimator. Lastly, we have slit type of collimator which is used only in OPG machines. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Do like this video and subscribe to Medinair for more. Thanks for watching.